was your idea the result of you being in this field already and seeing that there was a need, or did you just have this burning desire to do this thing and you were going to get it done? Well, you know, my history is I grew up on a farm, and of course, uh, like many 18-year-olds, uh, when you've done all this work and on a farm as a young person and all your friends are not involved in farming, especially around the Washington, D.C. area where I grew up in the 50s and 60s, I uh, uh, had an urge to get away from farming. Like many, many farm kids, um, uh, I was an athlete and got a scholarship to college to play basketball. So that was my kind of way out of farming. And I said, I would never do this again. <laughs> so you should probably never say never in life. Uh, so uh, as I uh, went to college and later played uh, uh, professional basketball, and I wound up in, in Europe playing in Belgium. I found myself drifting out into the countryside, uh, hanging out with Belgian farmers. And I felt there was something missing in my life, that I, I had this hidden passion uh, to grow food again, and, and simply because of the way the Europeans grew food, uh, taking care of the environment, making, doing it in a local uh, area, making sure <clears throat> that people got access to their food close to where the food was produced, similar to what we were doing back when I was growing up. So that's how I uh, got, re, uh, uh, got back into the food system. And then when I came back to the States, I wanted to farm. I had this burning desire to farm. Of course, it's difficult to get into farming um, in, in the U.S. It costs so much money, so I had an off-farm job. And along a continuum in 1993, I bought the last remaining farm in the city in a food desert area uh, where there was no um, good food to eat. Uh, five blocks from the largest housing project in the city of Milwaukee. And then one of the things I realized is that we, we had to do something about feeding those folks because they had no access to food and many of the kids were suffering. Uh, so that's how I uh, started doing the work. It was never planned, uh, but uh, that's how I started working with youth and that's how I got sucked into the food system and started creating uh, a way to grow food intensively closer to where people live so that uh, we can get uh, high nutrient uh, food uh, back to people like we did in the 1950s. As our food today is 50 percent, uh, has 50 percent less nutrient in it because of the shipping of food from many miles away and the way that we farm in an industrial way that has created this, the worst food crisis in the world today.